Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to bulk tag some contacts if you want to tag a whole chunk of them all at once. I'm going to be showing you three different ways to do that. The first two involve importing a spreadsheet and the third one is within MailChimp itself. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and type a little thank you in the comments. That will help other people find it as well. The first way that we are going to tag a whole group of contacts is by doing it on the import. So we are going to tag everyone on a CSV file on a spreadsheet. This strategy works no matter who the contacts are on your sheet. So they could be brand new contacts or they could be contacts who are already in MailChimp or a combination of them. This will just attribute the tag to everyone on the sheet. So let me show you how to do that. All right, here we are in MailChimp. We're going to add contacts, import our contacts. We are going to import a CSV file. If you have your list of contacts in Excel or Numbers or Google Sheets, um, you would then export it from there into a format called CSV. There's my file. Here we are. We're going to keep them as subscribed so that we're able to email them. We're going to scroll down here and this is the key. We want to make sure that we update any existing contacts because that will tag anyone who is currently on the list or anyone who's new. So everyone on the sheet will get that tag. If you are adding them all to a group, again, everyone on your spreadsheet is going to get this. If you're using groups, you would do that here. To do tags, we're going to go to the next screen. All right, here we are in tags. In your drop down menu here, you will have a list of all the tags you already have. If you want to create one, you're going to do this here. We're going to say that these are people who are interested in an audience organization class, my audience organization leads. And then the key here is that you need to press this create or hit the enter button. So it pops up up top here. If it's not up here, it doesn't take. All right, then we're going to match our fields. Here I have email addresses and first and last name. These contacts are actually already in there, so I don't need to update these fields because I know that I already have it. I'm just going to do the email addresses. Finalize my import. Here we go. They're going to be subscribed. We're going to update. No groups, and we're going to add the tag. We're going to complete our import. There we go. It has updated eight of my contacts. Then if we scroll down here, we can see that now these eight have that audience organization tag. And if I head over to tags and I click on it. Okay, let's move on to the second way of doing this. The second way of doing it is actually within your spreadsheet. You can create a column called tags and then put the name of the tag that you want associated with your contact in quotation marks. We'll call this one customer. This one's going to be customer as well. There are times when I actually create a drop down menu for setting these up. And you can use more than one tag here and just separate them with a comma. Actually, you don't need the space, just straight up with a comma. Again, I'm going to export this as a CSV file and then import it into MailChimp. Here we are at our import screen. I did make that column say tags. Again, we're going to update our existing contacts. Here we're going to leave this blank because this attributes the same tag to everyone and we're not doing that. Now when we go through, we're going to scroll and see here we go. Here is our tags column. It's checked for the import and we can go ahead and import them. Um, like I was mentioning, you could say groups here and it would update your groups as well. And we are going to import. And here we go. Michael Scott from Dunder Mifflin is labeled winter. Oprah is a customer. Tooth Fairy is a customer. And Santa is winter and customer. Perfect. All right. And the last way we're going to do this is within MailChimp itself. For this, we're going to go to segments. And we're going to create a segment. Segments is our search tool. So you're going to search for the context that you need to tag and then tag them all at once. We're just going to call this add a tag since I'm showing you what we're doing here. And these are all of the different factors that you can search by. So you could search by tags. You can search within groups. You can search within any of the fields that you've imported. 
So maybe one of your fields has the name of the country they're from. Then you can search by that country. There is also date added, sign up source, how they got imported into your system, and campaign interaction, which is whether they opened or clicked or were even sent any of your campaigns. Just for the sake of what we're doing, I'm going to do date added. I'm going to look for all the contacts that were added before today. And I'm going to add a second factor just so you can see me do it. And um, did not open any of the last five emails. Let's do a search. So I'm going to run this segment. It's going to give me a number. I'm going to save it. Scroll down. Open it again. And then here, this little carrot is going to give us the ability to select them all. And look at this, the menu changes, you can tag them all. So I'm going to add them to a tag that already exists, or I can create my own inactive. And it will tag all of them for you. As you can see, you can also untag in bulk. And if you were adding or removing from groups, you would do that here. Well, there we go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If I answered your question, give me a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Again, I put out videos all the time. MailChimp is in the process of updating their platform. So there'll be lots of new tutorials coming out and uh, I'll see you around.